I welcome, I welcome you to this commencement in Washburn University's 157th year. We are so glad to have the opportunity to come together. I mentioned earlier, this is the first time in two years we have been in Lee Arena for a graduation. We are thrilled that you are here today to celebrate your graduates. This ceremony is being live streamed to those who are joining us remotely, and we have many faculty supporting their students remotely today as well. And now I invite you to please stand as the Washburn Wind Ensemble, under the direction of Dr. Tom Seddon, performs our national anthem. Please feel free to sing along. You may be seated. Thank you to Dr. Seddon and the Washburn Wind Ensemble. The music program is such an important part of Washburn, and we are so pleased that members of the Washburn Wind Ensemble are here with us today. Let's give them another round of applause. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the members of the Washburn University Board of Regents participating in today's ceremony. And joining us today is Mr. John Dietrich, an alumnus of our very own Washburn University School of Law that serves on the Washburn Board of Regents. Please join me in recognizing the tremendous leadership and vision with which the board serves and governs Washburn University. Thank you, Regent Dietrich. And now I am delighted to introduce Abby Troutman, president of the Washburn Student Government Association, who will introduce the platform party. Good evening. To the graduates, I say congratulations. To the friends and families here today and watching remotely, thank you for your enduring support. To the faculty and staff, thank you for the time and effort you always give to create an exceptional educational experience at Washburn. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the platform party for today's ceremony. I ask each member of the party to stand when I call your name and remain standing. Dr. Norma Juma, Professor of Business Management in the School of Business and Grand Marshal of this evening's ceremony. Mr. Richard Vaughn, President of the Alumni Association Board of Directors. Dr. Eric Grosspitch, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Richard Litke, Director of Enrollment Management. Dr. Zach Frank, Interim Dean, School of Applied Studies. Dr. David Saulers, Dean, School of Business. Dr. Jane Carpenter, Dean, School of Nursing. Carla Pratt, Dean, School of Law. 
Dr. Julianne Mazicek, Vice President for Academic Affairs. And Dr. Jerry Farley, President, Washburn University. The road to graduation from Washburn University offers undergraduate students not only an opportunity to earn a degree, but various additional experiences as well. Through the Washburn transformational experiences, students grow in ways they did not know were previously possible. Students have the opportunity to participate in up to four different hallmark transformational experiences before graduation. These Washburn transformational experiences are described in your program. This evening, we would like to recognize those students who have completed one or more WTE experiences by asking you to stand right now so we may recognize you. Yep. Very good. Thank you very much. As we continue to recognize our graduate this evening, there is another very special group we would like to acknowledge. You will see many students in Lee Arena this evening wearing a special stole that reads First Gen. These students are the first in their family to receive a bachelor's degree. It is such an honor that you chose Washburn, and we are proud to call each of you an Ichabod. Can we please give a round of applause for all of our first generation graduates today as they stand? We are also honored to recognize a very special group of students and guests today in the arena, our veterans. If you have been a veteran and served our country, would you please stand at this time so we may recognize you and thank you. We are grateful for your service and your dedication to our country. And then finally, it is my honor, distinct honor, to be able to introduce to you the president of Washburn University, Dr. Jerry Farley. Hello, everyone. Good evening. And welcome to this very special, very special commencement exercise, as Dr. Mazacek said, first time back in this building. We love it. It's so much fun to have you here with us. It's a day that each of us that's involved with the university, that we look forward every year to the graduation ceremonies that we have. We do a great job, I think, and I hope that the graduates feel as though they are special because of what we do. No doubt, it is a day that you, that you are delighted to be here with us, but so is your families. So look toward them as someone that you want to make certain that you're giving them your all, your all. Congratulations to each one of you. This is an attainment, perhaps the most significant achievement of your academic career. You have invested countless hours attending classes, studying, preparing papers, and taking examinations. You, your family, your friends, and probably your fellow students all are proud of what you have accomplished. But now you've accomplished that. What next? Everyone will expect more of you. You will assume more responsibilities, and you now have the obligation to give back to society and to your country. You are an educated person. We are excited to celebrate with you, and we're so proud of your accomplishments. Permit me 
to take a few moments and talk very briefly about something that I am passionate about. I want to talk about challenges we face as, edu as educated students and educated citizens. Today, there seems to be an ever-increasing number of ways to polarize and to separate ourselves from one another. Divisive ideological differences are particularly troublesome to me. While persons should have the strength of their convictions, we must remember that we live in a society where people have different ideas and different views. We hope that during your time here at Washburn, we have helped you learn to think critically and to discuss and debate civilly. We learn by listening to others who think differently than we do, but we should not be satisfied with being told how to think. We hope you have developed the skills to form your own opinions based upon a wide range of, of ideas from many different perspectives, and that you will actively engage in something called civil discourse. Civil discourse. Stephen Carter, Carter, a faculty member, wrote a book called Civility, in that he defines what he thinks civil discourse is. Quote, it is the sum of the many sacrifices that we are all called on to make for the sake of living together, end quote. He contends that without some disagreement, no civil discourse can occur. If we all agree with one another, we don't learn much from talking with someone else, and we don't really have a way to express ourselves if there is something that divides us. One of the unique things about our humanity is that we are often called on to use our brain. Don't check your brain at the door. Think it, thinking is an essential part of living in a democracy. When people are allowed to think for themselves, they will inevitably find something to disagree with. In the process, of discussing controversial ideas, disagreement may ensue here, but may be discord and debate. We must talk with and listen to one another. In order to disagree, we must speak honestly and we must speak decently. Too often, we hear people stating their positions in an absolutist, confrontational way. They belittle or personally attack those who disagree with them, or they employ stereotypes or use language that is hurtful, hateful, or vicious to certain groups. Now, it's perfectly acceptable to have different and strong opinions, but it is important to understand and respect the unique viewpoints of others. When expressing your opinions, an educated person is always learning. You sit down at any discussion and you should have an outcome of learning more about anything that is being discussed. Even though you encounter disagreement and conflict, you have the skills to maintain an atmosphere of mutual respect. After listening with your undivided attention and respect, it is essential that you know how to apply your newfound abilities. Being a part of a community requires that we regularly place the common good, the common good, above one's own self-interest. There must be discourse to explain and to disagree, to resist, to test, and hopefully to find the common ground. And more forward together, and move forward together, we can do better at disagreeing 
without being disrespectful. We must take responsibility and leadership in creating environments in which dialogue flourishes and everyone is respected. During your time here at Washburn, I hope that you have learned those skills so that when you encounter challenges, you will be prepared and you will excel. We think an awful lot of you. You have done great job while you are here at this institution. We want you to take all of that learning and apply it in cities and in countries and in places where you have been asked to be a member. I wish you all the best of luck. I wish all of you the best of everything. Congratulations tonight. We will now proceed to the conferring of graduate degrees. Graduates, as you approach the stage and take a photo, before entering the stage, you're invited to remove your facial covering if you choose. We ask that parents, relatives, and friends remain seated so as not to obstruct the graduates or the professional photographers, but please feel free to stand, clap, cheer, wave, whatever you need to do to celebrate your outstanding student when they walk across the stage and their name is announced. And then finally, I will add, due to our environment, you will find that most of us are not shaking hands tonight. And so when you walk across stage, don't feel like you have to shake hands. I don't want to make, I want to make sure it's not awkward for you. We are very excited uh, for you to be able to walk across the stage today. Will all candidates for a master's or doctoral degree please rise? President Farley, those before you and in absentia are candidates for a doctoral degree or a master's degree. I'm pleased to present to you now for the conferring of their degrees those who have completed the requirements and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dr. Mazacek. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the request the requirements, the appropriate, the appropriate degree, sorry, degree with all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. These degrees will be presented by their academic dean. President Farley, I present to you the candidates for the degree of Juris Doctor. Jordan Kirk Cooper. Tanner Fallis. Lucas 
we cop. Caroline Cordes. Timber Whitney Long. Crystal B. Mo. Braxton Thomas Morrill. At 19 years old, the youngest graduate in Washburn Law history. Mary Joyce Myers. Daniel Sloan, magna cum laude. <laughs> Carolyn Ann Smith. Dr. Farley, I present to you the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree. Suwali Shakur Abra. Aluchi Nyoma Anagbor. <laughs> Ruth Rose Azami.
Samantha Davis. Shannon Lee Hensley. Aaron Morgan Nash. Amanda Rempe. Lauren Lynn Schmalberg. Brenda Lee Zimmerman. President Farley, I present to you the candidates for the Master of Arts, Master of Criminal Justice, and Master of Health Science degrees. Jason R. Bevins. Samantha Ober. The master's degree represents more than 30 academic credit hours of advanced study beyond a bachelor's degree. The doctoral degree represents more than 90 academic credit hours of advanced study beyond a bachelor's degree. We are proud to welcome 12 Juris Doctorates, 10 Doctor of Nursing Practice graduates, and 11 master's degree graduates as new alumni of Washburn University. Congratulations. Thanks to a generous gift to Washburn University by Erna and Gretchen Siberson, the Siberson Award has been established to honor the most deserving students selected from among the highest ranking members of the senior class in the undergraduate program at each commencement. Based on their outstanding academic performance, six students have been selected as Fall 2021 Siberson Award finalists. These students are truly exceptional and have been recognized by their faculty for their outstanding accomplishments. Additional information regarding each of their accomplishments can be found in your program. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Siberson Award finalists for the fall 2021 graduating class that are at this graduation ceremony. 
So first, I would like to recognize McKenna Koch. McKenna is graduating with a Bachelor of Health Science in Health Services Administration. Subasa, Subasa Mori is an international student graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration in Finance and Economics. And those are our Stiverson Award degree candidates at this ceremony. Would you please stand so that we may recognize you for your outstanding achievements? <laughs> to these students and their families and friends, we extend our congratulations on your outstanding work, your diligent commitment to academics, and to your outstanding academic achievements. The Siverson Award Committee recently met to review the credentials of the finalists and to select recipients. One recipient has been chosen and we will be making a public announcement tomorrow. So please watch your social media. Alrighty, next we are going to confer undergraduate degrees. We will now proceed to the conferring of undergraduate degrees. Will all candidates for an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree please rise? President Farley, those before you and in absentia are candidates for the associate or bachelor degrees. I am pleased to present to you now for the conferring of their degrees those who have completed the requirements and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dr. Mazacek. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements, the appropriate degree with all of the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities that pertaining thereto. Candidates for these degrees will be presented by their academic dean. Please be seated. President Farley, I present to you the candidates for the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Health Science, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Bachelor of Criminal Justice, Bachelor of Legal Studies, and Bachelor of Social Work degrees. Brooke Meredith Colson. <laughs> Hannah Louise Gold, School of Applied Studies Honors. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Grubel. Kaylee Jordan McCoy, Family, Family and Human Services Honors. Brett E. Kramer, School of Applied Studies Honors. Gannon Isaac Krass Minnick, Allied Health Honors. Preston Julius Allen Hernandez, Magna Cum Laude, Family and Human Services Honors. Erin Marie Bowles, 
Magna Cum Laude, Family and Human Services Honors. Jasmine Carey. Heather Lynette Duby, Dubrai. Taylor Ann Falk. Phaedra Linnell Knox. Madison, Madison Jane Mittler. Holly Roby Schwartz. Holly Robin Schwartz. Regan Janae Boone, summa cum laude. Liberty Marie Bowen. Michaela? Michaela Cox, summa cum laude. McKenna Marie Coke, summa cum laude. Lehu? Jordan Lynn Lehu, magna cum laude. Elena Raquel McManus. Robin? Robin? Robin Elizabeth Miller, summa cum laude. Allison K. Roddinghouse. Summa cum laude. Alexis Riley Van de Go, cum laude. Amanda Dolore Lejos, magna cum laude. Tyrell Lewis Aponte. Lexi Jean Baker. Roderick De La Verke Benham II. Jacob Adam Broadbend, summa cum laude. Dakota James Kobe, magna cum laude. Sierra Nicole Figueroa. Jonathan Simon Gonzalez. <laughs> Matthew Alonzo Harris. Grace Harvey. Anthony Holder. Grant Swarthley Huter III, magna cum laude. Samantha Marie Page Hughes, magna cum laude. Nicholas, Nicholas Adams Solomon, magna cum laude. Shelby Kayla Spradling, summa cum laude. Matthew Tatchell, magna cum laude. Josh Scott. Wilt, Cedric Tyshawn Atkinson, Chenard. Christina Marie Chenard, Chenard. 
Daniela Torres. Jesse J. Heights, magna cum laude. Catherine Natalie Purcell. Dylan Paul Babcock, magna cum laude. Kevin Madarin Maurice Biggs. Kristen Dawn Burns. Benjamin Timothy Carson. Alec Michael Davis. Xavier Delon. Joshua David Gaither, cum laude. Spencer, Spencer Haskamp. Carrie Michelle Hicks, cum laude. Celeste Hoffling, summa cum laude. Victoria Le Leanne Hauser, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Jane Kent, cum laude. Connor Keys. Samantha Cope. Thomas McLaurin Llewellyn. Tubase? Tubase Mori. Silverson Award finalist, summa cum laude. Jason Drody, School of Business Scholar. Caitlin Rohr, summa cum laude. Sulav Shakya. Daniel Wyatt Shields. Noki Sierra. Noki Sierra, magna cum laude. Jackson Scott Wessler, cum laude. Science in nursing degree. Jacob Jeffrey Ackland. Marissa Aguirre. Faith Becker. Jessica Aaron Ballou. Bumika Bukta. Naomi Grace Bicker. Madeline Rose Brown. Leslie Buckholz. Lacey Nicole Christensen. Rachel Zinji. 
Alyssa Faith Clinton. Jennifer Octavia Colvin. Gianna Marie Cordero. Hayden Dom. Oh, shoot. Callie Marie Daniels. Liliana De La Cruz. Zane Michael Drew. Courtney Nicole Echeverry. Megan Ann Ellis. Peyton Demacia Gillen. Lindsay Michelle Heideman. Madison Hope Henderson. Elena Yonke. Nikayla Kusets. Courtney Lane. Hi. Emily Losey. Megan Lynn Lynch. Kristen Michelle Mayfield. Allie Nicole Meyer. Lauren Angela Mitchell. Alyssa Rose Mullen. Mm -hmm. Jacinta Mary Palmieri. Mm -hmm. Jalen Nicole Porter. Lauren Alexis Prather. Laura Elizabeth Robertson. Riley Nicole Rodriguez. Aaliyah Ashley Rogers. I think I'm going faster than the line, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Tatiana Rucker. Logan Todd Schmidt. Macy Joe Schulman. Aiden Shaughnessy. Elizabeth Ruth Stahlbomber. Brooke Elizabeth Stoneman. Rebecca Catherine Storman. Melissa Swanson. Jacob Cole Thornburg. Arlene Valerie Tucker. Maria Tiribiardis. Ethan Eugene Ward. Brittany May Woolington. Brianne Nicole Young. Spencer Seiler. We are proud to welcome 170 bachelor degree graduates and 15 associate degree graduates as new alumni of Washburn University.
Before concluding the ceremony, graduates, I remind you that this is a moment of transition. You entered Lee Arena as the final step in completing this stage in your educational journey as a Washburn University student. As you leave today, you begin your exciting future by joining thousands of proud Washburn University alumni. In that regard, it is now my pleasure to introduce Richard Vaughn, president of the Washburn University Alumni Association Board of Directors, who will share congratulations and a warm welcome to the Ichabod family. On behalf of over 50,000 Washburn alumni, I congratulate you on your graduation today from Washburn University. You're joining the ranks of alumni from around the United States and actually all the way around the world who have one thing in common. We are all Ichabods. Like them, you have developed a permanent and lasting relationship with Washburn. Your continued involvement will help shape Washburn University for generations of Ichabods who will follow in your footsteps. Today, our graduation gift to you is a complimentary one-year membership in the Washburn Alumni Association. Simply claim it and it is yours. You will also be receiving an alumni license plate for your vehicle. Membership information is actually outlined on the postcard on the back side of that. Being a member of the Alumni Association is all the fun of college without any homework. And best of all, there are no more tests. Don't be afraid to get involved and be part of the fun. Your fellow Lickabot alumni will welcome you with open arms. Throughout the rest of your life, the Alumni Association will keep you connected to Washburn University and your classmates. The university's reputation is built on the success of its graduates. We know you'll go on to do great things and make us proud. We wish you happiness, good health, and prosperity. Congratulations, and go Bods. Thank you, Richard, for recognizing these new alumni. I just want to say, just as I did at the beginning, once again, it is truly an honor and a thrill, graduates, for us to be with you today and your family and friends to celebrate your achievements and your accomplishments. And at this time, we would like you to rise. Awesome. So please ensure that your tassel is currently on the right side of your mortarboard, especially if you're an undergraduate. As a symbol of your great achievement, please move the tassel from the right to the left side of your mortarboard to indicate your new status as college graduates and alumni. We conclude the fall 2021 commencement with the singing of the alma mater performed by Washburn music student Joseph Coddington. The words are located on the inside cover of your program. A song of a prairie's light, a song of a breezy strong, a song of a bright, the true and the tried of a college dear, a song. Washburn, Washburn, we love thee well. Ours is the joy, thy brace to swell. With voices free, we sing of thee and ever our praise. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> Graduates, family, and friends, we at Washburn wish you the very best and the very brightest future. At this time, the ceremony is officially complete. The platform party will exit, followed by the faculty and graduates. We ask that following the recessional, you exit the arena and meet your graduate at the southeast entrance to the building. Once again, congratulations and go Bods! <laughs>